Hello, everybody. Yes, it's me, the most insignificant YouTuber you've ever seen. Uh, I'm here to talk about, well, a lot of shit, I guess. Um, I got some Overwatch gameplay in the back there. Um, so, ah, just get right to it. First off, I want to talk about is uh, Garden Warfare 2. Plants for Zombies Garden Warfare 2. The whole reason I'm talking about it is because the game is dead. Yeah, there's maybe like a few hundred people playing a game that came out only not even two years ago. But that's, that's pretty dead, if you ask me. And um, what is PopCap doing? to fix this to maybe get their main money making game up back to par they're just selling us more shit that is not you don't even need to buy it this pisses me off because one I don't want to buy this shit considering okay well first off let me make things straight first they released I think four, five, three or four DLCs, and they were free, like the first game, like basically what everyone who plays Garden Warfare likes in the game, is that you don't have to buy anything. Oh God, my dogs are in the back barking. God damn it. Um. Anyways, so everyone liked that basically. Everyone who played Garden Warfare One and Garden Warfare Two liked the fact that you could buy shit or you didn't have to buy shit that you could any sort of DLC or maps or anything were free completely free no but what they release is three new or not even three new characters three characters that you can get for free one legendary two rares and then uh, and then a, an ability that a year ago they would have just gave it to Rux and Rux would sell it to us for 500k. Um, so there's lots of... Th and there were two upgrades. There were two upgrades. One for the zombies, one for the plants. And the plants one had, I think, had the Ice Pea, the Yeti Chomper, and the Iron Citron as like a festive upgrade or whatever. And then the... Uh, then the zombie upgrade had... AC Perry, the Ice Trooper, or whatever his name is, and uh, the, the computer scientist, I'm pretty sure. Or no, sorry, Toxic Brain. Toxic Brains. Anyways, this is not helping when it's time to get their game back to people playing it again. I played it for a year and a half, and I completely love that game. I completely love the first game. I completely love the second game. But my love for those games slowly decayed as the days went on and the weeks went on because of all the shit and the, all the shit that they weren't releasing and all the garbage that it just, they just puked out onto this game thinking, oh yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll totally work. Um, I am max rank in that game now. Like, I did make it to rank... Um, fuck, what was it? Rank 5,455 was max rank. Um, sorry if I'm, like, stuttering or whatever. I I don't write scripts, of course, because that's dumb and not really fun. I just kind of like to puke out my own opinion on my own terms. Um, anyways. So the whole problem with this is that the game has died... And now that I have made it to rank, the max rank, there's nothing left for me to do in that game. So when they release something new, and I go, hmm, I might go back on that game and try to unlock it or try to try to buy it from Rux or whatever. The problem is, it's all the same shit from two years ago. I don't want to do the same shit. I want new maps, I want new characters, I want new things to deal with and learn about. But no, they just, 
they just sell us the same shit with a different tag on it with a different price every year and that I, it just it upsets me because that game had so much potential to be honest um All right, well, I think I'm going to move on to my second part about this video. Is uh, So, I would like to talk about the nurse to Roadhog and the problems with the s Overwatch servers on PS4. So, the first problem is Roadhog got nerfed. Everyone knows this by now. He, sh he got 33% damage, yada yada. His hook is shorter. What else? Um, uh, I mean, he technically got buffed and nerfed at the same time. He can uh, move while healing. He can. He's got five shots now instead of four. But his one-shot hook combo is basically gone and out the window. It's there are still remnants of it there, but at the end of the day, it's gone. Like before, you'd hook a Reinhardt, pull him to you, two shots, he's dead. Now it's actually a challenge, an actual, an actual battle to try and beat these people. Which, in some cases, that's, that's, not, that's not a bad thing. That's actually a pretty good thing to have Roadhog require some skill or some talent to learn how to fight these characters. But, as you can see in the gameplay in the back, I can still manage to deal with it on my own. I've learned how to deal with all the shit that characters can throw at me and I well that's just what a Roadhog main does like that's what any main does is when something's changed about their main they try to learn how to utilize it and make it part of their main basically now let's talk about the Overwatch PS4 servers so there's there's very clearly a problem you can go on Twitter you can go on basically wherever Blizzard has a communication type hub I guess you could say whatever what's it called anywhere Blizzard has a social media platform there will be people complaining about servers on PS4 and in the past few weeks Blizzard has been talking about it on their Twitter that there is a problem and they don't know what it is but they're gonna try and fix it and this upsets me because I can't play this game now that I'm done with Garden Warfare 2 my majority of time spent playing this game or er, playing a game is going into Overwatch and that's just that's just my new game now that's just what I do now for fun uh, is play Overwatch and when the servers aren't working when I can't find a server or it won't let me join a server or my ping is in the 80s and 90s and I can't even get out of spawn without glitching back five feet it's it's just difficult to deal with it because Overwatch is kind of my only entertainment type thing that I can do, which is really fun and will last me a long time. And it's messed up right now, and I really hope they fix it. Um. All right. Well. Let's talk about YouTube. I was kind of, I wasn't sure if I should talk about this or not, but for me, it's November 26th. Or, hold on, where's my phone? God damn it. It's November 25th, actually. I'm pretty sure when I'm recording this. November 25th. And yesterday, on November 24th, YouTube started just deleting accounts entirely like iDubs got hit Keemstar got hit Conan got hit and it was just like this fucking onslaught of people getting banned and not being able to basically have their channels anymore and I was watching the stream last night the uh, YouTube purge stream and they were talking about it and I was kind of curious because I I was actually kind of binge watching iDubs at the time and then I paused this video, came back and it was like this account is no longer available, you can unsubscribe if you want. So I was a little confused there. 
um, it probably has something to do with the whole internet thing that's going on, like the FCC and shit like that. Um, but the channels are back. They're doing they're, everything's fine now. Everybody's channels are back. Sadly, Keemstar's back, of course. But uh, hopefully, YouTube sorts this out. So that's all I want to talk about today. Um, I hope you agree with me. I hope you disagree with me. I don't care. Just like, subscribe, comment. Tell me in the comments how I'm wrong, I guess. And uh, for anyone who's watching this, uh, fuck, dude, I don't know. Well, like, comment, subscribe, smash that like button. Keeps our out.